All right, so I'm going to demonstrate a quick install on a small sticker here. Uh, we're going to do it on a real life situation. So what we would do is we would first clean our surface. So I'm going to take a paper towel, take a little bit of alcohol. Just a little bit. I'm going to come around here and you see how dirty this surface is. If you tried to install the decal on the surface like this, it would never stick because it's so dirty. Also, it's, point, uh, it's good to note that it's a non-porous material, so it will work. But if I tried to install it on this wood table, it probably wouldn't work because it's super porous. So, just the contrast. So clean it up good. If it's really dirty, it might require multiple cleanings, but this one, see how much cleaner it got? So we're going to let it dry. While it's drying, we're going to set up the decal. And uh, it's important to note, at this point, if you want to make it super precise, you can take measurements on the surface so you can lay it down appropriately. But I'm just going to eyeball this one. So you go back to your decal. And this is how it'll come in the mail. So what you want to do during shipping, it uh, could uh, become a little bit uh, a little bit messed up during the shipping process. So what you do is you'll take either your credit card or a squeegee and just simply run it over, run it over the surface to make sure it's nice and flat and it it's adhering to the transfer sheet. And again, I apologize for. Uh, the shakiness of the video but I'm doing this alone and then you just want to make sure it comes off nice and easy so you just slowly peel it if the, dec the decal sticks to the the white backing paper stop what you're doing and then apply more pressure to make sure it's stuck down on there onto this uh, clear transfer sheet if it continues to stick to the white paper just use an exacto knife or a razor blade and slowly lift it off of the white backing. Just nice and slowly lift it up, lift it up. And we got it all off. See? So now we have it on the transfer paper and we're ready to install it. So we're going to go back over to our surface. And I'm going to line it up just by eye. I say it's pressure sensitive, so if you don't press down on it until you know you have it right where you want it to be. So, and then you just slowly put it down, lined up nice and even. So that looks good to me. So I'm just, it looks good there. So now I'm going to take my credit card or my squeegee again, and I'm just going to slowly put pressure on it firmly. So I'm going to start from the middle, work my way out here. Not too hard on the first round, out there. And now that we have it down, now I'm going to apply more pressure. Pretty decent amount of pressure, just being careful not to, to uh, crease it. Do that on every, every single part of the decal, you want to apply some pressure with it. Give it just a few seconds to adhere. It's pressure sensitive technology. Very good stuff. Very expensive vinyl. Um, it has up to five to six year outdoor life. So it's very good stuff. And then you just take your, your transfer paper here and just slowly peel it away, leaving the decal on your surface. Try to, to fold it back almost all the way over and then pull it across. You see how easy that comes off? And now that it's installed, you can just check it, make sure everything's good. If there are any air bubbles, 
you can pop them with a super like a, a pin a sewing needle pin but other than that that's it you can see how easy it was um, like I say it's very good vinyl but you just got to make sure your surface is very clean uh, make sure it's non-porous and you shouldn't have any issues it should go right on thank you